the physique is definitely there. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm really excited about it. Uh, this morning I was uh, only three over. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, and we're only getting lighter. You know, yesterday I drank eight pounds, woke up three pounds over. I didn't lose that much weight yesterday. It was sort of an easy day. We just sort of relaxed. Um, today we're going to do a little harder push today. And then uh, after that, hopefully tomorrow I'll be waking up on weight or a pound over. This is kind of unheard of for you, isn't it, to be coming in this close this so soon? Yes, definitely, definitely unheard of. But, you know, Lou, Lou, Lou Trishan, you know, I give it all to him. He's done an amazing job with me. Uh, you know, I've checked in yesterday at 176, you know, wow. and, 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 I, and I worked out. So I've hit mids. I've worked out all through my camp. I usually stop on Wednesdays. And this is the first time that I've, I, I rolled yesterday five rounds. You know, um, I'm still active. And I could have done more, but it, again, I was just doing an easy weight cut day, just pulling out a little bit of water, nothing much. I did that in a little bit of uh, sauna and hot tub, and I ended up losing five and a half pounds. You know, and I drank eight pounds yesterday, and I woke up two, almost two pounds lighter than I did the day before. So really, that guy right over there, he, he deserves everything. He's done an amazing job with me. And we're gonna keep it going. You know, and that's the thing is that, you know, it all doesn't stop here as soon as you make weight. You know, I'm going to come in lighter. You know, I want to be right around 185 my next fight camp instead of him, you know, trying to get me down from 205. <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of things that, that come into play, you know, now. And I really have to, this is where I have to be serious. You know, I remember back in college whenever I'd be at, you know, <clears throat> during the season I wouldn't, wouldn't get over 70, 75 while I'm wrestling 65. So why do that now? Just make it easier on myself. So, what kind of fight am I uh, anticipating? Uh, different, there's two different ways this goes. One is that he's going to try to keep me at bay, use his kicks, stay long, stay long, stay long, stay long. <clears throat> and then there's another one that I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to force the action, stay in close, you know, or just stay outside of his range and go in and out of it. You know what I mean? Uh, so I can play both those. I've, I've fought tall guys, guys that like to kick and stuff. So I, I'm pretty sure where I ha I need to play my game at. Yeah, you have the wrestling background, but he's got the jiu-jitsu background. I mean, I mean, is that kind of a clash of styles? No, I mean, I, I, I've i beaten black belts in jiu-jitsu tournaments. I've rolled with black belts all the time. You know, I'm not too worried about people's jiu-jitsu. I know where mine's at, and I know where my game is. Um, so <clears throat> it's not really clashing. Everybody thinks that he's going to beat me on the feet, you know, and that's really the gist of it. And every time they predict that, it doesn't happen. So right now, I'm sort of just enjoying life right now. So for this fight, you change your your camp, your team, your diet. Sure. So how is gonna how all of this is gonna happen for you? What was the were the, the biggest difference for you? You changed a lot of. Yeah, I, I changed a lot of things, but I really didn't. You know. So did it, you find good sparring partners? Yeah, you know. Um, for example, one of my training partners for the last four and a half years is still around. You know what I mean? Like everybody thinks that you need to bring in certain people. I got a guy that can mimic anybody. You know, and the same thing goes for me to him. You know, if he needs me to be a certain person, I can mimic those guys the best I can to give him a look, you know. And, and that's really what it is, is that you, you, if you can have somebody like Razak, his name's Razak. How do you say his last name? Al-Hassan. al Al-Hassan. al Hassan. Yeah, al Hassan. Uh, and he's... He's an amazing guy. Uh, he's like I said. He got me to the title. He helped me get to the title. He's helped me get back. Um, and you know, I really see him in the next, probably the next year. I think 2016. I see him in the UFC. <clears throat> he's that good. He's 4-0 in, in in MMA. He's a kickboxer. He's done uh, Muay Thai. You know, he's done everything. So I really think that, you know, that's the people that you need around you, people that you can trust and people that can mimic other styles. And I think it grows you as a fighter as well. How's your health? And just talk about how frustrating it's been to try to get back. Uh, my health is good. My health is great. Frustrating to get back, it wasn't frustrating at all. You know, I got Louis, Louis uh, Giordano uh, to, to do everything for me. 
Uh, he he. Uh, right now, I'm uh, this morning. I was three over. You know, and I still got two days to cut weight. So I, there's no stress about getting back. All I want to do is just sort of redeem myself in the public's eye and show them that I can make weight and that I will make weight. And not only that, but also to Dana White and the Fatita brothers. You know, um, I felt bad for not being able to make that weight and do all that. Um, and, you know, there's a point in a man's life where he's got to sit there and say, I'm wrong. <clears throat> I don't know everything. And that was it. And so now I'm sort of just, right now, like I said, I'm three over. I feel great. I'm eating. I'm drinking. I cannot complain. It seems like you've come into this with a different mindset. Like you <laughs> said, you started at 205, where before, weren't you around 220 yep. uh, coming in? Uh, what is the change in, in the mindset for uh, this fight? Really that disappointment. You know, I, I, I sort of hurt my brand. Um, and I, I disappointed so many fans by not making weight. And I don't want that ever happen again. Is there, is it harder coming in as not being the champion? Do you feel that, that itch, like that belt's yours? And how bad do you want to get oh, it back? I want to get the belt back bad. Okay, very, very bad. And that's one thing that I want to prove on Saturday is that I'm ready, I'm back, and I'm going to move forward. And I'm gonna. I, I got to get my hand raised, no, ma no matter what cost. My energy levels are there right now. Uh, everything's doing great. Um, I'm just super excited that, like I said, I'm just super excited that I'm able to do another, you know, fight at welterweight. That's just in itself is exciting for me. And it's Did, such your division. I mean, what, what have you seen with you know Lawler and everybody? You know, the hold, the holding true to you know well, since you've had the belt. I mean, your division is a very tough, tough division. <laughs> yeah, our, our, we do have a tough division, and that's what that's what's exciting about it. You never know what's going to happen, um, and <clears throat> you're always one fight away or you're two fights away. Um, definitely, where I'm at, I'm looking at this as hey, it could be the number one contender. It could not. Hey, all I care about is I'm going to fight three times this year, and at the end of 2016, I want to I want a shot at the belt. Did you have to fight Dana to get this fight after missing weight? You know, he, he talked to me, um, and we talked it over, and we all agreed that welterweight was my better weight. Um, and I just had to get a nutritionist. And I told him, consider it done, because I myself was like, I don't know everything. I, ha I need a nutritionist. Uh, and then that's whenever Lewis did a, uh, an, an article, and I called him up, and he was like, let's do it. You know, and we haven't looked back. Were there any threats or ultimatums uh, tossed out during that conversation? <laughs> Not really. You know, like I said, we, we both agree that welterweight is my better weight class. You know, yeah, I'd like to be a, a middleweight, but I feel like I haven't done enough at welterweight. You know, I feel like there's still more I can do, and I want to prove that. And that's sort of the game. That's what I told him. I was like, I really feel like I can do more at this weight class. Give me that opportunity, and you won't regret it. And they said, all right, just get a nutritionist, and you can stay at welterweight. Cool. <laughs> so if you beat uh, Wonderboy Thompson, where do you think this puts you uh, in vying for a title shot? It could be next, or it could be um, one more fight. You know, we're, we're, our whole motto this camp is one fight at a time. One fight at a time. Let's, let's, let's get through. Let's do what we have to do. Let's work ourselves out to get the best prepared we can for that man right there. And whenever we get that done, then we can reassess where we're at. Do you think uh, that the IV ban will uh, play a part in, in uh, your preparation with the weight cut? No, because like I said, I'm two days, you know, we have today, we have Thursday, we have Friday to cut three pounds. And how far back did you start? I started, what, 10 weeks ago? Yeah, we've done 10 weeks of cutting weight, and we, we haven't really cut weight. We call it, He calls it weight management. You know, <laughs> I call it getting shredded. You know, the 10-week shredness. Uh, um, as you all can see, I, I put out a couple of photos of me a long time ago, and then what I look like now, it's amazing. You know, uh, everything that he does and everything that he has done with me, you know, this is this is the reason why I didn't eat healthy, and I didn't. I don't like, you know, I'm not a big fan of being shredded like this, right? Uh, but <clears throat> I know that's my life, and he's done an amazing job to get me to look like this. 
Um, and that's sort of, uh, you know, it's, it's a testament to him, you know, what he's done with me. You know, and like I said, everything happens for a reason. You know, the good Lord blessed me with a lot of things, and I think right now he's blessed me with a great crew that's with me. You know, uh, I really can't complain. Considering how well you're saying you're doing with the nutritionist, the question would be, why didn't you get one earlier? You didn't feel a need in your previous fights to have one as far as... <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, you know, I took what I learned from Dolce, and I used it to my advantage, you know? And then uh, I'm always the guy that if it went good, let's make it better. I thought I made it better for the last weight cut. In return, it was the worst thing I could do, right? So at that point, that's whenever as a person I said, okay, I have to take a step back. I know how to eat clean. I know how to eat healthy, but I don't know everything about nutrition, right? That's why there's jobs out there for nutritionists. That's why people need them, right? Because even 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 athletes like us, we, we don't know everything. And, and now that the IV, the IV band is in place, now he can, you know, like I said, I haven't been over 185 in a long time. You know, so I'm going to be fighting at 181, 182, and, you know, we're going we're gonna to rehydrate the way the body needs to.